should probably take the wheel. I'm kind of twisted inside, and I don't know where I'm going. I'm just here for the ride, okay? Fuck. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you on a beautiful ride across Lagos, showing you its major expressways and how beautiful they are. The misconception that the roads in Lagos are terrible is now becoming a thing of the past. In the past five years, major works and renovations have been carried out on Lagos roads to reduce traffic congestions and make transportation smoother for everyone. So a lot of people, when they think about Lagos, they do not associate Lagos with good roads. For some people, the words Lagos and good road do not go together. But in this video, I want to erase that mindset. Guys, I'm going to be showing you some amazing expressways that Lagos have that you have never seen before. Probably you've seen them, but you've not seen them in the way I'm going to be showing it to you guys. All right. But before I dive right into the video, remember as usual, guys, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by December. All you have to do is click the subscribe button right now. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers, guys. Please help me get to 10,000 subscribers and all you have to do is just click. Click the subscribe button right now. Okay, let's get right into the video. Our first expressway for today is the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The Lagos Ibadan Expressway, once notorious for its traffic jams and deteriorating conditions, has transformed into a modern, efficient route that now stands as a testament to Nigeria's commitment to infrastructure development. This highway stretching approximately 127 kilometers is not only one of the busiest routes connecting Lagos to major cities like Ibadan, but it's also a critical economic corridor linking the country's southwest to other regions. In recent years, extensive reconstruction and expansion projects have revitalized the Lagos Ibadan Badu Expressway, addressing long-standing challenges like traffic congestion and poor road conditions. With new wider lanes and improved road surfaces, travel times have significantly reduced, making daily commutes more manageable and safer. The addition of new interchanges, pedestrian bridges and designated lanes has enhanced accessibility and provided a safer experience for both drivers and pedestrians. This revitalized expressway is more than just a road, it's a symbol of progress. With modern infrastructure, improved drainage systems, and better lighting, the new look Lagos Ibadan Expressway offers a smoother, safer, and faster journey for everyone traveling through this vital artery. Our second expressway is the Third Mainland Bridge. From this point I'm standing right now, you can see the Third Mainland Bridge right here. I'll be flying my drone now to show you guys um, the area shot because the Third Mainland Bridge is actually um, recently renovated and it's looking really, really nice, okay, with a lot of road markings, street lights. I want to show you guys all of that right now. Once a symbol of Lagos notorious traffic congestion now stands as an example of progress and modernization. Stretching over 11.8 kilometers and connecting Lagos Island to the mainland, this iconic bridge has long been one of the busiest routes in Nigeria. However, after years of beer and tear, it was in urgent need of upgrades and repairs. In recent years, the bridge has undergone major rehabilitation, bringing new life to its structure and appearance. One out sections have been replaced, and extensive repairs has addressed issues from potholes to weakened expansion joints. The addition of clearer lane markings, improved lighting, and upgraded railings has greatly enhanced both safety and visibility, especially for nine travelers. Alongside, these practical upgrades, regular maintenance schedule have been introduced to keep the bridge in top condition, ensuring it remains reliable for years to come. Today, the Third Mainland Bridge not only eases traffic flow but also reflects the energy of a modern Lagos. With smoother lanes and a fresh look, it symbolizes the city's commitment to improving infrastructure and making daily commutes safer and faster for millions who rely on it. This new look represents a brighter future for one of Lagos' most vital thoroughfares. We are currently on the um, Ikorodu Road, right? This is a popular Ikorodu Road, and you guys can see how free it is. Um, right now, I'm driving from Ojota towards uh, Maryland Mall. Ikorodu Road is the third expressway on our list for today. Once known for heavy congestions and poor conditions, has been transformed into a smoother, more efficient route. Recent upgrades including expanded lanes, improved drainage, 
and new pedestrian bridges have significantly eased traffic flow and enhanced safety. Now, Ikorodu Road not only supports a faster commute but also reflects Lagos' dedication to modernizing its infrastructure for a better travel experience. Um, I'm currently on my way to um, the Osho Diapapa Road to show you guys what the road looks like, you know. So let me know what your thoughts are about this particular road, the Ikorodu Road. Right now we are entering this popular underbridge in Maryland. Guys, <laughs> does this not look as though I'm driving in the US? I mean, the sunset is just lovely. The road is just beautiful. What do you? What else do you want from Nigeria, guys? What else do you want? Do you want a 20-lane road before you are satisfied? You know, I know the roads. Like I said, not all the roads in Nigeria are excellent. However, the ones I'm showing you guys are not bad at all. You know, you can see for yourself. So, what are your honest opinion about um, this uh, particular Ikorodu road? Okay, um, from my end, I will say um, the government is actually trying. That I will give it to the government. But I would um, like the government to do more, to do better, because I know we have some other roads that need uh, government attention. Mm -hmm. So I think I would like them to do more mm -hmm. so that um, all the gridlocks we have in Lagos and its environment can be minimized. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, that's fantastic. Guys, that's fantastic. You know, we know the government is, 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 is working. However, there's still a lot of work for them to do. But <laughs> this video is all about the positives, okay? We'll be showing you the beautiful sides of Lagos Expressway. Okay, right now we are trying to connect. Uh, this is, we're, try, we're currently on the Ikorodu Road and we're about to climb the bridge up there to link uh, Bagada. You know, which is the Osho Dia Yapapa Expressway access. So we'll be climbing the bridge to link Bagada and we'll show you guys what Bagada, the Osho Dia Papa Road looks like. But guys, so far, what are your thoughts about the Ikorodu Road? Tell me, leave your thoughts in the comments below. What areas do you think the government can improve on this expressway, this major expressway? What do you think they can do? Right? Guys, this is one of the best expressway in Lagos. One of the best expressway. I think this is a five-lane road, the cleanest road. Let me not say the cleanest, but it's one of the cleanest roads in Lagos. The fourth expressway is the Osho Diapapa Expressway, a major transport artery in Lagos. Has long been one of the busiest and most economically vital routes in Nigeria, connecting the industrial hub of Apapa with other parts of Lagos, including Oshodi, Mautu, and the Lagos Badagri Expressway. It serves as a primary route for moving goods in and out of the Apapa port, which is Nigeria's largest seaport, making it essential for both local and international trade. For years, the expressway faced severe issues due to heavy congestion, deteriorating road conditions, and frequent gridlocks caused by trucks and tankers waiting to enter the port. This created a daily ordeal for commuters, business owners, and residents in the surrounding areas. However, Recent upgrades have given the Osho Diapapa Expressway a significant facelift, transforming its appearance, efficiency, and functionality. The Nigerian government, in partnership with private stakeholders, embarked on a comprehensive rehabilitation project aimed at easing congestion and improving the infrastructure. The refurbished expressway now features smoother road surfaces, additional lanes, and designated truck parks that keep heavy vehicles from obstructing the main road. This has significantly improved traffic flow and reduce travel time. Modern drainage systems were also installed to address the persistent issue of flooding which had previously worsened road conditions and increased maintenance needs. In addition, pedestrian bridges and walkways were added to enhance safety for local residents and commuters. The new look Osho Diapapa Expressway has had a positive impact on local businesses, logistics and the daily commute. It now stands as a testament to ongoing infrastructure, improvements in Lagos, reinforcing the city's role as a vital economic hub for Nigeria and West Africa.
The fifth expressway is the Lagos Badagri Expressway. This is a pivotal segment of the Transwest African Coastal Highway aiming to link Nigeria all the way to Dakar, Senegal. Lagos Badagri Road was a name given to the Nigerian section of this Transwest African Coastal Highway project. This project stands as one of Lagos state government's major infrastructure undertakings spanning over 47 kilometers. This road is not only the widest but also the most ambitious in Lagos. This project has been in development for nearly 15 years with the state government dedicated to completing its construction. Divided into three phases, it includes significant bridge components like the Akinwali Bridge at Alaba connecting to the Apapa Oshodi Expressway at the Rainbow Bus Stop. The Lagos Badagri Expressway has seen substantial progress. Phase 1, managed by the Julius Bega Construction Company, stretches from Eric Moore to Festac, featuring a 10 lane road with a central train line extending to Mao 2. Guys, this wraps up the expressway exploration of Lagos for today. Kindly let me know what your thoughts is in the comments below. As usual, guys, kindly subscribe to help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Until next time, peace.